Yo, what is up guys? This is B Bricks and Brickdale here. And today we're gonna to be doing a tier list video for every single UCS Star Wars set. Really excited to do this. And I'm sure you guys have seen tier list videos before, but for those who haven't, essentially we're gonna be ranking all of 30 of the uh, UCS sets. Obviously S tier being the best, F tier being the worst. Without further ado, let's just get into it because we have quite a few sets to get through. All right, we have the original X-Wing one of the first UCS sets. I mean, it was the first one, but the design is not great. Doesn't doesn't really hold up. Um, I think colors are a little bit off, but the fact that it was the first one at least gives it, I would say, D tier. All right, you know the original UCS Imperial Star Destroyer. Eh, I mean, this is obviously a great set. We have the new one, which makes it tough. Um, but I do think the fact that it is so iconic. The fact that it really kickstarted some of these larger scale UCS sets, um, I think for that reason it deserves. I think it deserves S tier. Just, just to be frank, you know, um, I, th I think it really did kickstart something here for UCS. I think we didn't. There was this was just such a big set for its time. I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but I just think it was such a immaculate set, such a large set for its time that it deserves to be up there to S tier. Okay, now we have the Snow Speeder from 2003. Uh, this is definitely towards the bottom. I just don't think a lot of the brick built design pieces for this worked out that well. Obviously, with the new one, looks a lot better. But the one thing that really bothers me is, is those cockpit, uh, the area around the cockpit just looks really off. So, personally, this has got to go F tier. One of the most forgettable UCS sets for sure. Okay, the Y Wing, the original Y Wing. Personally, I think this looked decent. Uh, it still looks decent, I would say. Obviously, with the new one, that one looks a lot better. But I think this one actually, it got the shape like spot on. So I think for that, I got to give it C tier. Um, okay, well, <laughs> the original UCS Falcon, I mean, not too much to say about this. It's definitely towards the top. I mean, one of the most, I mean, just again, this was the largest Lego set first time. I remember getting the email right before this thing came out, and I was just shocked that they were making something this big um, in the Star Wars theme, so I think it just has to go S tier. And now we have, let's go, um, let's go Imperial Shuttle, because that the Rebel Blockhead Runner is the newer set. Um, it's not UCS, so Imperial Shuttle. This is tough. I mean, it's definitely towards the top. I'm going to go A tier. Personally, I think the it looks fantastic to display. Um, I think the design is really well, but it just doesn't have that extra, I would say, something special to make it S tier. Now we have the UCS Sandcrawler. I think this one's really overlooked. I think it's one of the best build experiences, one of the most solid builds, lots of minifigures. I think it's big enough to be a UCS set too. It doesn't really, um, it's not on the verge of those like Master Builder series. I think, it, I think it is really a UCS set, despite it having a ton of minifigures and playability. So... I'm going to go A, a tier for that. It looks fantastic. Now we have the Dollhouse uh, Dust Star. And I uh, just, I mean, it definitely looks like a cool build. I personally don't have this. Lots of minifigures, lots of pieces. The displayability for this thing just is terrible, though, in my opinion. Like, just does not encompass the UCS set. It's going F tier. Okay, now we have the, um, obviously, you know, the new UCS Falcon. It's tough. I mean, this thing is just fantastic. I, I, I think it's one of the best sets ever made by Lego. Um, it, it's a fun build. It's a long build. It's a lot of pieces. Uh, I think it just displayability is just fantastic. It's got to go S tier again. The reason it's going to be with this one in S tier is because I think this one is just more iconic. And it represented something when it came out. All right, now we have the new Snow Speeder. This is low key, I think, a really solid UCS set. Some of these two hundred dollar ones, I think, definitely get overlooked, especially in recent years. But I think the build design for this is really good. Displayability is actually fantastic, fantastic, and they got the angles and lines right on this spot on. So it's going B tier. The new Y wing, again, basically just an upgrade from this one. Nothing too crazy. I will say the displayability for the set was, looks a little off. Just the stand is so much. It's hard for the stand to look good when. The set's kind of like small and skinny in the first place. Like any sort of stand is going to look a little awkward on it. So 
Now it's going to go one above the old one. It's going to go B tier. Now we have the new UCS Imperial Star Destroyer. Personally, I mean, this is obviously towards the top. It just, it's tough when this one and the Falcon are out at the same time. I think for an extra hundred bucks, if you don't have this set, it's just, this, in my opinion, is just a much better value. But, I mean, it, it is one of the most fantastic looking sets um, I think Lego's ever made. But again, just like the historical context, I think it's going to go A tier, just given that, you know, these two are out during the same time. And it being such an expensive set, if you don't, if you were going to buy one, I would say for sure go for the, the Falcon. Okay, the new A-Wing just came out. I mean, I'm not a big A-Wing fan. It looks fine. Uh, again, it just sort of fits a lot with like these B-tier ones, but I just don't think the ship is like as cool. It's going C-tier. Uh, B-Wing, personally, just... When the B-Wing came out, they were just ripping out these like random, like, I don't know, like Imperial... I just feel like we got so many like B-Wing, like X-Wing, Y-Wing, like all these random like play sets during this time that just did not look that good and it's throughout this UCS set and I just didn't I feel like when it came out everybody's like just a B wing like just seems so random. I'm going at a D tier for that. Definitely just very forgettable. Hoth S tier, just kidding. F obviously. No need to say much about that. I think every UCS fan kind of knows the deal with that. So <clears throat> Darth Maul Bust. I actually really like the displayability of this. Obviously, like build experience and just pieces and stuff like that. Pretty low as far as like it being a like a, just a good build experience and uh, like getting a lot of pieces and whatnot. It's just low on max here, but displayability is super high. And obviously, UCS is for that. So I'm gonna go B tier, I think, on that. Um, yeah, I think it's just I think it's where it's supposed to be. And then the old Death Star two. I mean, build experience for this, I don't have it, but it looks a little rough, not going to lie. It looks pretty tedious, but they just went all out on Greebling. I love how it sort of has a bunch of studs out on the... It didn't try to like smooth it out too much, you know? It still has that Lego feel, so... Personally, this is an S tier for me. I think a lot of people might feel that way as... I mean, this cycle is for about 1000 bucks new right now on eBay, and again, I, I would love to have this. I think the displayability is one of the best... Um, out of any UCS set, this General Grievous, uh, I mean, it is like a nice display figure, but again, it seems kind of odd in the UCS line, and yeah, I'm just going to go D tier, it's just not much to say about it, it just sort of came and went in my opinion. This one I look, he really liked, the ATST. it is smaller as far as the UCS size, but man, I remember this thing was on sale for quite a while too. And I think the more it sort of ages on me, I think it, it is a pretty good, it's a pretty decent UCS set. Again, it, when they have like the smaller scale ones, it's sort of tough to put them that much higher because you got to think that this is like a UCS set. There has to be a lot of displayability. So I will see it here. Okay, essentially a little bit, some of the same points here, like really good design, but a lot smaller. Seems like they could just make like, this into a play set or just label it a play set and no one would think twice about it but it has a plaque and everything obviously being a UCS set again I think it just has to go like C tier and the R2D2 this was a really neat set first time definitely had a lot of like unique functions I guess I like the little BB-8 as well um, it sort of had a lot of those sort of like you know technic joints and it would sort of do all the R2D2 <laughs> functions but Seems kind of weird to be a UCS set. It didn't. A lot of those other, um, like the DO we just got, the BB-8, those are not UCS. They just have the plaque, but they're not labeled UCS. And this one was UCS. So that like discontinuity and the the theming kind of bothers me. I think it's gonna go C. This is the 2001 Blockade Runner. Pretty forgettable set. I'm gonna be honest. Um, it just it's just pretty old, but it looks fine. It just looks like it's gonna break though every single second uh, when this thing's together. So I, I think I don't got a lot of C tier, but I do think it is sort of in that C tier range. The displayability is good, but a lot of the other qualities are are lacking. I don't think it deserves D. The X Wing. I actually really want to get my hands on this one. I think it looks really fantastic. Really, again, I think it fits in some of those newer two hundred dollars sets. Just where it's just a perfect, perfect size, a perfect amount of pieces. 
it's going to be accessible to a lot of people at that price range and it's an x-wing it's an iconic star wars vehicle so let's go b tier slave one i'd say this one is one of the best design sets um, i mean i think a lot of people feel that way it looks fantastic on display has some nice playability features I think it's going to go A tier for that. Okay, this one, it's just going to go F tier. It's just not a UCS set, no matter how cool the chrome pieces are and whatnot. Um, Super Star Destroyer, pretty plain design, if I'm being honest. Um, definitely the size is cool, but I think it does just look pretty repetitive build. Its playability is decent, but it's just lacking on the underside and interior stuff, so... I think it's got to go C tier. It was kind of a rip off too. I feel like when it came out, it was really expensive. $400. All right, TIE Fighter. I actually think this is one of the best looking UCS sets. I was so surprised when I got this one. I think it's got to go A tier. If you guys haven't picked this one up, I highly recommend. All right, now we have the TIE Interceptor. The colors are just so off in this one, even though it's old and it was iconic. It's got to go like F tier. Darth Vader. Um, Darth Vader Tide Advance. This one it was like 2006 or Shrines. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure 2005 maybe. And I remember this thing, this thing just sitting on shelves was on sale quite a bit. Um, I guess I can see why too. Like it's not that bad, but it just it's hard to get excited about it. I think it's gonna go C tier. Now we have the last but not least, the Yoda UCS. I think this is pretty similar to like the Darth Maul bust. It looks really good, but there's just certain aspects. It's just very limited in its functionality, um, but it was very cool for its time. I still think it it deserves uh, probably B tier too. Same with Darth Maul. So that's it, guys. That's the tier list. Let me know what you think about it. If you think the rankings were fair, if you think they're off, I'd like to hear your opinion. But that's it, guys. This is B Rex and Bricto signing off. Yeah.